Bonjour mes amis, have you ever tried to create a better presentation without getting involved in complicated things? Well, if that's the case, then you are in the RTRP. By the way, do you like my umbrella? It has been also created using the seven steps that I'm going to show you right now. So let's get started. After watching this video, you will be able to transform these icons into these icons. Well, that's a difference, right? So PowerPoint offers a very big variety of icons from different categories, which is very, very good. But if we want to categorize all of them from one single criteria perspective, then we can say we have two different flavors. The fillables in black and the non-fillables with lines. In theory, if we're thinking to add colors to these icons, logically, would be to think that the fillables are the one with which we have to work. But in reality, this is not the case. Why? Well, there are a couple of reasons that I'm going to show you right now. Reason number one, the element can't be broken into more elements. So that's why when you're going to apply the colors, you won't be able to apply different colors for the different elements. Reason number two, the element is not a compact element anymore, it's being broken, so when you're gonna apply the colors, it won't look so great. Reason number three, the element is broken and it's slightly different from the non-fillable one. So when you're gonna colorize it, it's going to look something like this. Reason number four, some of the elements from the fillable category can't be ungrouped because they are being already considered ungrouped but unfortunately even if you will apply my fragmentation technique you won't be able to generate as many different colors like in this case and finally reason number five is that some of the elements can't be separated so that's why the total number of colors that you can apply is not as big as in this case of the non-fillable but there is always an exception and the exception applies for the elements that don't make a closed form and the bread is such an example in the bread case we can't colorize the non-fillable one so we will have to satisfy ourselves just with the fillable one and just apply one single color and then a small outline maybe a little bit thicker and this is going to be our bread okay now let's see the seven steps of my technique by applying my seven steps technique you will be able to convert an apparently non fillable icon because in the case of which you want to try to fill the non fillable icon the only thing that you will succeed is to color the line and that's it the element won't be filled because it's a non-fillable element so that's why with the help of my technique you will be able to apply the fillings if you want to be very efficient and achieve the results that you saw then please follow these steps in this precise order step number one locate the icon that you want and then insert it into your slide Make sure that the icon has at least one closed path or one closed shape, otherwise the coloring process won't work and in that case you will have to select a fillable icon like in the bread's case. Step number two, convert the inserted icon into a shape. Step number three, insert an ordinary shape nearby your icon. Step number four, format the shape so that you will have no outline and pick up a color that will make part of your colorizing process. Step number five, select your shape and then your icon and go to the shape format, merge shapes and then select the fragment option. If the merge shapes button is not active, then make sure to ungroup the elements in your icon. Step number six, 
remove the unwanted parts of the resulting shape if it's the case. And step number seven, apply the colors that you want to finalize your new created element. All right, so we are now in PowerPoint and the first step is to identify the icons that we want. In my case, I'm going to find them in two different uh, locations. For example, in holidays, I'm going to pick up the umbrella and the other icon is from celebrations category so here is the celebration and here is the candle okay we've got them now we can pass to the second step and the second step means to convert them into shapes so we can select them and click this button or we can right click and convert to shape that was the second step. We can now enlarge them. We can make them as big as we want. It's up to you. Then we can pass to the third step, which is inserting an ordinary shape nearby our um, icons. We've done this. The fourth step will be to format the ordinary shape meaning no outline and put the color that will be the dominant color of the resulting element. In my case, I want to be the red. Now the fifth step is to select both and go to the merge shapes. But unfortunately, this function is not active because I have to ungroup all the elements first from the icon so right click and ungroup now again select these select these and we can go to merge shapes and use the fragment option all the other variants do not work for what we want so the fragment okay now we can pass to the sixth step meaning get rid of what we don't want in my case here in this example everything is uh, what I want so I won't uh, eliminate anything I will just put a bigger zoom for you to watch easier now I will select the main pylon and I will put the general color for the support I think this is okay now what is not okay is the base for the base I'm gonna change it again to this part or if I want to make to create a solid base then I can use the outline for these put the brick color and I can then change the weight and when the weight is going to overpass a certain threshold then you won't see um, the shape color anymore and you will see just these perfect from what I want now I want to change the candles light so I will just click this one and I will put a yellow value now in theory I should repeat all the steps for the other um, remaining um, eight candles but I can use a trick for that to speed up the process so I will select the candle and then go to home and double click on the format painter and now I can apply very fast the color for all the candles and this is perfect now I've got the final result is nice so one last thing into is to select everything right click and group them or just apply the shortcut Control G and now I can move it wherever I want that's perfect now for um, the second icon I will now 
um, move to um, step number five because uh, all the previous steps have have been done now let's ungroup these select these select these and use the fragment now my umbrella is going to turn red completely doesn't matter so now for the main uh, elements I want them to be black okay also for this part or maybe here I will use something like this this I want to be a green okay and now for the umbrella I can put the colors that I want let's make here a blue then again here a green and we're done now we can select all and group it control G or if I just want to remove the umbrella then I'm going to select just this part together with the stick then control G and now I can remove the umbrella then I'm going to rotate it until it's going to be um, perpendicular and now I can do one more thing I can enlarge it but if I will do it randomly then as you can see I can ruin the umbrella control Z so for this purpose we have to keep the shift uh, press it and then not use the middle because I will destroy the shape Ctrl Z press the shift and then use the corners and now as you can see we can enlarge it and have no problem now this is the umbrella that I used for my video now one more thing because so far I haven't had a chance to show you the application of step uh, number six so uh, with this metal is going to be the case to remove something so uh, let's um, select both go to merge shape apply the fragmentation and then in this moment we will be able to remove whatever part is not required and here in the metals case this part should be removed and now you can apply your normal process of uh, putting different colors accordingly to your desires Now that you know to create amazing colored elements, the only limit is your creativity. So I wish you good luck in all your projects and see you in the next movie. A bientôt mes amis.